Hi, I'm Sean Smith. This is Sean Smith Photos, where I edit street photography and occasional travel photos in On One Photo Raw. So, uh, just this week, a couple of days ago, On One released an update to the 2023 version, and it comes with some improvements, which you can see in their blog post. Uh, blog post linked below. Uh, let's take a look at um, a screenshot from a really relevant part of this blog post for today's article uh, video and in here we can see as with any new technology especially ai technologies there can be some areas where the ai can miss and in my previous video uh super select ai versus quick select ai thumbnail somewhere up there uh I compared the two and my conclusion was that Super Select AI was not ready for prime time. Uh, well, we're back because On One released this new update with improvements. And we can see here, it says our engineering team is ready to unveil some new improvement improvements in record time. And then at the very bottom, Enhance the masking results and consistency of the AI masking features, Super Select AI, Mask AI, Quick Mask AI, and AI Adaptive Precepts. Presets. Uh, improve the performance of the mask refine brush. So uh, the focus of this video is Super Select AI, which I kind of panned in my previous video. So to make this fair, I've decided to use the same three photos that I used in that one and try Super Select AI again and see how it goes. So let's get to it. All right, so the, the first photo that I used in the previous video was this tractor and the results were not really great. So if I, here's a screenshot from the last video and you can see when I hovered over the tractor, it got one tractor, half of another one and some of the trees. It, it, it wasn't that, that great. So let's see how Super Select AI compares today. So, okay. Um, Oh, actually, this is a different tractor. <laughs> I pulled out the wrong the wrong image. Okay, well, we'll, we'll see how it works. And yeah, uh, the tractor is, the full tractor is there. Uh, the foreground is there. The background, it does a pretty good job. It misses in here, but I think we can hit twice. No, ah, uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit better, but it's not perfect. Unfortunately, I think I grabbed the, the wrong tractor photo, but we can see that it is better, but not perfect. Uh, if you enjoy my videos, uh, please hit the subscribe and the like button. Uh, you can also find me on Instagram, Vero, and my photo blog. Links are in the description below. So the second photo that I tried out in that video was this one uh, around Halloween where uh, these these people were standing in front of the theater and one of the theaters in downtown Toronto. Let's take a look at a screenshot from the video to see how the mask did. The mask did pretty good. Uh, so we can see it's hit some of the, the backdrop here. Uh, there's a lot of overlap and then it it missed the bottom of the dress not perfect not bad uh definitely room for improvement and i when i made this video this was the best one of the three so let's see if we can get improvement today with the new version of on one photo raw so i'm going to grab the super select tool and we can already see there's gaps here and so I select her 
and we get some blue stuff kind of outside and let's select the other person. Basically, it looks the same to me. We're missing the bottom here, but oh, I can add that in and we've got some stuff that needs to be cleaned up after we mask. So this is about the same. First picture is a little bit better. This one's about the same. And let's take a look at our final shot, which was this guy on a mono wheel with a double sided lightsaber. And the original video was a complete failure. It selected part of the guy, part of the sky, part of the foreground. And then when you moved over here, it, uh, it was just a mess. So this didn't work out. Let's see how it works this time. Super select AI. Oh yeah, yeah, this is a massive improvement. Look at that. Yeah, all right, so for this photo, this is like a thousand times better. So my conclusion right now is that Super Select AI has definitely improved and probably will continue to improve as the On1 uh, software developers improve the AI, feed it more images, and work on their algorithms. So at, at this point, I feel like uh, the Super Select AI is much more usable for my photos and workflow, and hopefully for yours as well. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one.